Good morning. Um, I am up early this morning. Um, I wanted to get to a location just after sunrise, um, and this is the spot we're at. It's called Halnaka or Halnaka. Um, it's probably famous for two things. There's a lovely restored windmill on top of the hill, and the other thing it's famous for is this walkway up to the windmill um, which is known as the tree tunnel so obviously as you can see in the distance you've got um, trees that arch over my arms who knows if I'm, trees that arch over in a tunnel um, if my arm seems to be bendy in the wrong way around there but who knows whether that came out any good or not um, what I'll do is I'll turn around and point the camera at it properly so you can see exactly what it looks like a bit better. Right, the light is starting to come through the trees exactly how I wanted. I'm going to place my camera in front of this patch of light here and aim it up towards the, well, the light at the end of the tunnel up there. Hopefully get the leaves and trees arching over. Lovely. So let's take that shot and see what we end up with. Oh, it'll be uh, a pan. It'll be a portrait shot. Now, the thing with mushrooms is you've got to basically walk around looking at the ground all the time uh, because they grow on like mouldy, mossy old tree stumps like this, there's some mushrooms here. Um, I've actually found this spot here so I think I'm going to spend a bit of time here because I've seen some compositions that I think we can capture here with a bit of effort so let's give it a go. One of the best things I've found for this sort of photography that makes life much easier and cleaner is a really thick uh, dustbin liner or get them a rubble sack like this which came from a DIY shop. Um, they don't obviously last forever and they do eventually get holes in but um, just means you don't go home covered in mud from kneeling on the ground all the time. I've just had a massive panic. I thought I'd broken either the camera or the lens because everything I was shooting was out of focus and then I realised I must have knocked the diopter somehow um, after trying it with various lenses, uh, swapping around to see whether it was the camera or lenses, um, it turns out that I'm just a massive idiot. Right, I have found this mushroom here and I'm going to switch to my 16 to 50 Z mount kit lens just to be, I just be awkward really. Just to prove that a kit lens can still get pretty amazing shots. Got my little got my little light on the throwing some light to the inside of the mushroom. I am gonna shoot this at 50 mil and probably go for a portrait orientation and try and get the mushroom to fill the shot as much as possible. I think there's also a nice shot here with that mushroom in the foreground and the other ones in the background, so let's try this shot as well. well it's amazing when you start looking, you can't stop seeing. I found this little guy here. I've got my light set up on this little tripod here to try and put some light up underneath the underside of that little mushroom, so let's see what we can get. I think today I found about every type of mushroom except the red ones with the white spots but they might not be mushrooms anyway. Are they toadstools or are they mushrooms? I don't really know. I'm not really an expert on mushrooms. Um, I only eat ones that come in packages from supermarkets so I think that's the safest way to approach mushrooms. Well that was a short and sweet little edit today 
Um, nice to get out early and do some shooting. Let's go and uh, drink coffee.